I, one other thing I want to emphasize, and I don't know if you were in the room yesterday when I said it, and again, this is one of our dirty little secrets, uh, and um, uh, that I'm very, very proud that the, the Democratic Party has allowed me to run under their banner for state superintendent. Mm -hmm. um, but just like you, I'll bet um, uh, that, uh, and I'll bet you have, have done this, but um, one of my dirty little secrets is I've given money uh, to Republicans as well as Democrats. Mm -hmm. I voted for Republicans as well as Democrats and independents, by the way. And uh, my firm belief is this office should be nonpartisan. This office has been politicized beyond belief, uh, and it is one that must be based on educational leadership and business leadership and not political ideology. Uh, and that's something we all have to work on, we have, all have to focus on. And uh, one of the things I plan to do, um, if it's at all possible, and I, I recognize uh, there are some uh, code and constitutional uh, discussions that would have to take place, but we really need to depoliticize this office right. and get, get Idahoans to step forward and do what they want to do, and that's take charge and take responsibility of their, their children's education and the education of future children in this state, your kids that are coming. Yeah, hopefully someday. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, thank you for your time, sir. Okay, thank you.